Good morning, Iowa Valley. Today is Monday, October 2nd, and we are your hosts, Carly and Kylie. I hope you had a fantastic homecoming. Happy birthday to Chandler McKibben, Catherine Kilgard, Kayla Baki, and on Saturday to our very own homecoming king, Garrett Hoyt. We hope you have a great week. This week's national holiday is National Farm Animal Day. Let's go see what Colton's up to. <laughs> as, we, as we see, goats like sniffing Colton's butt. Go for him. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> This week's question of the week is, what is the best ice cream flavor? Carly? Mine's cookies and cream. What about yours? Mine's mint chocolate chip. And make sure you go check out our TikTok to see what Iowa Valley thinks about their favorite ice cream flavor. This month's PBIS challenge is respect. I respect you, Stone. I respect you, Colton. That's right, kids. This month of October's PBIS challenge is to respect. And this week's kindness challenge is to compliment yourself every day. I am super smart. I am an attractive person. I am a real go-getter. I will never beat myself up. Sam's 5K fun run is October 21st. You can stop in the office and pick up forms. The cost is $20 per person, and a shirt will be provided to people who register by this Thursday. Now, on to Dawson with football. Hello, I Valley Tiger fans. I'm Dawson Smith with Tiger Football. The Tigers had a bye last week, so here are your season stat leaders. Nolan Kriegel leads in passing yards with 596. He also leads in passing touchdowns with eight. He also leads in rushing yards with 555. And Dawson Smith leads in rushing touchdowns with nine. Caleb Hawk leads in receiving yards with 359 and receiving touchdowns with four. Tate Peach leads in tackles for loss with 13. Dawson Smith leads in tackles with 35 and a half. And we have a five-way tie between Lane Pesca, Chance Hoyt, Owen Brawl, Caleb Hawk, and Dawson Smith, each having one interception. There are your stat leaders of the season. Now on a Fat Pit with Volleyball. Hello, Iowa Valley Volleyball fans. I'm your host, Fat Pit. The girls won against Tri-County last week 3-1. Great job, girls. This week, the girls play BGM. Good luck. Here are some stat leaders. Izzy Kriegel leads the team in assists with 324. Lydia Kriegel leads the team in kills with 143. Ella Reed leads the team in blocks and aces with 22 each. And Lola Fremel leads the team in digs with 166. Here are your clips. Hit over the net by Izzy. All right, Dry County, let's just get it over the net. Let's go. NOT TODAY! Okay, hit by Maddie, the setup by Izzy, and Kennedy, YOU HAVE TIME! Tri-County serves, Lydia hits it to Izzy, set up to Ella, and let's go! Okay, Kennedy hits it to Izzy, and then Lydia just BAMBOOZLED! Now on to Jackson with your public service announcement on parking. All right, folks. Now, I know what you're thinking. What is Jackson doing outside next to the street with a bunch of cars parked next to him? Now, I know I said I quit last year, but I came outside today and I saw this monstrosity of a parking job. Look at this. We are not in the lines in any means here. I don't even know what kind of car this is. This is a piece of garbage. This is a 1960 something piece of trash. That is what we are driving here, folks. This is not even good enough to be in copper. <laughs> this thing is not even good enough to be in copper, if you know what I mean. This is bad. This parking job is horrible. This is worse than something I would do. Speaking of which, all right, folks, now here we have it. The repeat offend. What the heck? 
inside all the lines, not like completely up on the curb. Is the tire even okay? The tire's on the curb, but barely. This is actually good parking, guys. This is how it should be done. Normally, if you guys park like me, that's horrible, but this is how you do it, folks. This is how it should be done. I'm I'm both amazed and astonished at the same time. This is crazy. All right, folks. Now, if you'll remember way back to the times of last year, just simpler times, we have hit Mr. Cooling here multiple times as a repeat offender. Now, he gave me a genuine excuse last year. It was so last year, he didn't hit Mr. Boland's truck. I want you to look at this beautifully painted image here. Do we see a Mr. Boland's truck anywhere? No. Oh, why is that? Mr. Boland isn't here anymore. Cooling, that does not give you the excuse anymore to park over the line. We cannot be having this sort of stuff. You have no excuse anymore. You're done. Hello and welcome back to Cross Country. For the boys bracket, only Eli Pitchard ran. He got a time of 30.45. For the girls bracket, we had Hannah Ryan with a time of 24.43, Grace Ryan with a time of 24.58, and Catherine Kilgard with a time of 25.33. So their next meet will be at Hillcrest Academy. Regionals are the 19th of October, so be ready to do your best. And now, on to Gare's Dark Alley. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Gare's Dark Alley. This week, we got J-High Football. The J-High football team is coached by Mr. Kriegel and Mr. Klingenberg, and so far they've had a lot of success being 3-1. and one. So I wish them good luck the rest of the season. For interviews of the J-High football team, check TikTok, and while you're at it, follow our other socials now.